our trio is still captured by the Pikes, but we're about to find out that there are more players on the field. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to an all new Cross and Streams. As always, I am your host, the real Gino, Gino Reynolds. And today, we're going to be continuing our look at Season 7, the final season of The Clone Wars. This time, Episode 7, entitled Dangerous Debt. We last left off our trio of Ahsoka and the Martez sisters. Uh, we're still captured by the Pikes, and they are still at each other's throats uh, about uh, how they got in this situation. Well, at least Ahsoka and Rafa are still at each other's throats. Um, there's a lot of talk about uh, the morality of the whole situation. This leads Rafa to tell Ahsoka about how the Jedi were inadvertently responsible for the death of her and her sister's parents. Um, and it, it, it turns out that while the Jedi were chasing Zero the Hut, uh, Cad Bane had caused an accident which caused the Jedi uh Zero gets away and the Jedi uh end up end up inadvertently uh killing uh their parents by an explosion and here's the thing the Jedi they didn't exactly help help the newly orphaned kids uh they basically said uh don't worry the force will be with you so um they kind of got disenfranchised uh, with the Jedi on that day. Uh, and that day they became pretty self-sufficient, depending on each other. Um, they come and they take Rafa and they're going to torture her, trying to find out where their spice is. Uh, and while she's gone, Trace reveals um, why she helped Ahsoka. And she says that's because that's what her mother would have done. Um... Then they come back, they bring back Rafa, and then they take Trace to be tortured. Uh, but Trace is able to attempt an escape. She tricks them, uh, she like faints, and they go to check on her, and she takes a gun and starts blasting. And she gets away. Uh, with Rafa out cold from her torture in the cell, Ahsoka is finally able to use her force powers to escape. Um, she wakes up Rafa, and they try to make their escape to uh go find trace uh they end up eventually meeting back up and they all make a run for it uh and ahsoka for i don't know how many times this is now she's still trying to hide the fact that she was a jedi that she's force sensitive uh she has to use her force powers again without being seen uh, after they make their escape though uh someone asking for money uh who they turn away uh, gives them up to the Pikes. Uh, he, this guy asks the Pikes, do you have any money? And they turn around, they have a hologram of our trio, and he's like, are you looking for them? Uh, so he gives them up for money, uh, and so they're recaptured before they can get to their ship and get away. Uh, at the end of the episode, we learn that a group of Mandalorians uh, notice Ahsoka while they're on another mission, uh, which, of course, is going to come up in later episodes, uh, I imagine. So they decide that they're like, what is she doing here? And they decide to track her. Um, this episode was OK. Uh, I have nothing wrong with it. Don't get me wrong. But it really other than the reveal at the end and then the reveal of what happened to uh, the sister's parents, um, there really isn't a lot of story advancement other than that i mean those are some pretty big advancements don't get me wrong but for a half hour episode it's there there's just a lot of filler it seems um i have this hunch though that you know we've got yeah the mars the martez sisters i like them and they're they're playing their part in ahsoka kind of finding her way in this world uh, after leaving the jedi order but I have a feeling that they're like not going to go with her because I don't see them fighting. Because uh, you know we're going to get back to uh, Ahsoka uh, fighting in the Clone Wars, or at least in some kind of capacity fighting with the clones or something. You know we're going to get there. Uh, chances are she's going to end up going to Mandalore uh, to face off against them. 
against the ones that have taken over. Um, so I don't, I don't know other, I don't know if the Martis sisters are going to be as important. Um, I don't know. I just, I feel like maybe they're going to be wasted as characters. I mean, yeah, again, they are playing their part in, in Ahsoka finding her way, but are they going to be more important other than that? I'm just really curious about that. All in all, it's a good episode. Other than the two big reveals, though, um, there's just not a lot going on in this one. It's it's still a fine episode, though. Uh, it is necessary because, again, you, you learn about the parents. You learn uh, that we're going to be probably going to Mandalore eventually. So, uh, still a solid episode. Just not as strong as some of the other ones. Still, though, I'm not going to say skip it or anything. You kind of got to watch it. Uh, if you're following the story, but it's, it's not the strongest episode, still a decent one, but not the strongest. That's going to be all for this edition of Cross and Streams. If you like what you've heard here, please subscribe to the Real Geno YouTube channel, like this video, and if you have anything to say about episode 7 of The Clone Wars, uh, in season 7, entitled Dangerous Debt, please feel free to leave a comment in the section below. Till next time, I'm your host, the Real Geno, Geno Reynolds, and may the Force be with you.